Hi everyone, so I am doing today just a really, really quick unboxing. I got my latest uh, Glambot order and I just wanted to go ahead and, I don't know, it's pretty exciting to film, even though like I bought everything and I know what's in there, it's still exciting to open it. So, um, they just sent it through USPS, so I was like, oh boy, I hope it's, <laughs> hope it came through okay. There is no card in here this time. I think last time they had a card, so nothing fancy, honestly. They just like packaged everything up and just like shifted out. They did um, package it in like thin um, foam wrap like this. So I appreciate that. So it's most of them, I guess, are kind of nice to unwrap. But first here, I got a Sephora sponge, um, and I I let my daughter play. I let my toddler play with one of my sponges, and she was so excited where it had like. It grew and everything it was so cute she kept on bringing it over me like look at how much it grew it keeps getting bigger and bigger it was so cute but i think she did like um break one of them a little bit which is kind of sad so i might use that one like a week or two and then like let it go versus like you know four plus weeks but i'm glad i have something else in the mail so or like something else to use now um this is the sculptor airbrush sponge um yeah the shape of it's interesting it looks kind of like a lipstick i guess I think we'll see how it goes. All right, let's see what this one is. Um, it is very sturdy, I can tell you that. Good job, Glamba. This one I think I ordered about a week ago and it already came in, so I'm really glad that it came through pretty quick. Um, and I can't remember how much I spent on everything. I think it was like 30 something maybe. Was it less than that? Can't really remember, but it wasn't like, I got four, I think I got just think we'll see how many products I got, but, um, yeah, I think I got a good amount. So, um, or not, it's not a ton of products, but like, you know, I think for, for the price that I paid, it is not too bad. So this is, oh, this is actually more than I thought it was going to be. This is a Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, it's not like their usual mini size, which I think has like nine grams in it, but this one's still a decent amount. This has five grams in it. Um, so this is about half of that in the packaging, super nice, super cute, but I probably will decant this into my other like powder. Um, and they even taped it, which is nice. It says loose inside. Look at the little sticker they put on there. Loose inside it says. So let's see like if there's a sifter or anything. I haven't, I haven't owned one of these before. Sure, it doesn't explode on me. Okay, so no sifter. Or is there? Wait a second. Oh, there is a sifter. There's just a lot of product sitting on top, and the sifter honestly takes up like half the half the height. <laughs> um, but yeah, five grams of product is a good amount, and um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of sifters, and I really like the mesh um, one that I have in my in my DIY compact. So I'll probably just set everything up. Okay, they are tight. Like a bad ripping open. Ooh, I know I really shouldn't be getting that lip product, but I was like, I don't really have a ton of sleeping masks or like um, lip balm, but this this packaging is so cute. This is the ColourPop, I think, Hello Kitty collab um, that they did. And yeah, ColourPop and Sanrio did a collab peppermint cookie lippy scrub all right we'll see how this one smells that is i don't know if it's gonna focus on it there you go um that is super cute oh this is unused wow oh that's really subtle yeah definitely peppermint cookie scent and um yeah, completely unused, so I appreciate that. The packaging seems really sturdy and something I could definitely use again. I love jar packaging. I know it's not the, like the most sanitary or whatever, but it's super nice, and I really like decanting like other lotions and stuff. So this is a lot of product, though. This is going to be 15 grams of product, so half an ounce. That's a decent amount of product in here. That's going to take me a while. Might be actually the biggest, one of the bigger lip products that I have in my collection, other than like you know, like Vaseline or something. Um, all right, and this one looks like it has a few products. Oh, it's two, I think. It might be my last two. Um, I got the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I think I've actually used this up like years ago, one of these years ago, and I enjoyed it. 
Uh, I think I'm getting more into cleansing oils. That's why I picked that one up. And then I did get, this was a free sample. Oh, this is a good amount too. This is also half an ounce. This is the Jack Black oil-free moisturizer. I've heard a lot about Jack Black. I don't know if it's scented or not. Let's see. No, not really scented. I think that would be nice to use. I know Jack Black is marketed as like a, either a male or more like unisex brand. But yeah, I wanted something that was just like super simple and I could, you know, move into my collection. Pretty easy. So, yep, these are the products that I got. Um, five products here and I think that maybe the Laura Mercier one is used, but honestly, I can't tell and there's a, still a ton of product in there. Um, and then everything else was untouched. So, yeah, so honestly, Glambot, like as a consumer isn't bad at all um i will say that i've heard some um yeah like if you're one that actually tries to sell your makeup and tries to make money off of glam but like don't expect that because of i think because of their sales and you know they're trying to make a profit too like w the money you would get back for what you try to send in is like minimal <laughs> um and um you know i think i've said in a previous glam bot video before like you know, these are potentially used products. You have a risk, um, you know, of using those things. I think definitely lip products and things like that definitely run a risk. They do their best to sanitize and things like that. I think their their team does, but um, you know, this is this is the gamble you make with with purchases like this. And I gamble like that with my with my money and with the products that I bring into my collection. Uh, but so far, I've had decent luck with Glambot, and so um, I would say, you know, proceed with caution, do your research. Uh, for me, it's been a very decent experience, um, and I know sometimes there's shipping issues and discount issues and you know things like that. And they're they're a small team, they're a small business, so you know they're that's the type of your response that you might also get. Um, and yeah, so that's my haul for today. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.